involved in the project because uh, I had worked with Bear McCreary, the composer, on the show Da Vinci's Demons on Stars. And uh, he said, I have a friend, Kyle Higgins, he's written the script. And then I read it and I met Kyle and I thought it was smart and different and interesting and a concept the like of which I hadn't read before. And so I said, sure. The first and foremost attitude you should have is trust in the director. You have to go, I've chosen to do this, I'm now going to trust that this guy's vision is going to correlate with mine and that we're going to come out the other side with something that we're both happy with. Fortunately, when I got to set, I realised Kyle had been working so hard on this, this was such a passion project for him, that it was easy to hand over that trust and go, okay. The challenge of building different personas in the same movie was something a little, uh, a little more complex in this one than perhaps if it had been the case whereby the audience is in on the gag. So the challenge was creating two people who are close enough in the way they gesticulate, in the way they talk, in the way they dress, that uh, the audience is going to be fooled, whilst at the same time having enough of a differentiation between them that when you discover they're two different people, you don't go, huh? No, they're not. Brit's role is tricky. It's tricky in a short to really make an impression of both your own character and then ask an audience to invest in that character's relationship with another character. There isn't much time to do that. She has a real lightness of touch, which I think comes from having a comedic background. She manages to sort of bring a lightness, an airiness to the scenes that could otherwise be quite bogged down by the heaviness of this deep, intense relationship. As an actor, my main push for myself to get through scenes that are difficult, characters that are difficult, playing different parts, playing different actors, is fundamentally fake it until you make it. The thing that Eric and Dylan should probably need to listen to is fake it better. I'd say they probably need to double down on that more or it's all going to fall apart. And it does.